All right, uh, where are we starting here? Oh, my weekend. Yeah. I've been out. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Check this out. Fam, you're starting to turn into a little, He's a little socialite. Body. Give it to me. You're a socialite. Yeah, Give it nah. to me, baby. I was waiting to see you at the mic. Oh, my, oh, my God. Hey, y'all oh. have a nice turtleneck. Oh, man. look how they got him. They got him. Look how they got yeah, him. All these teeth. Look at me and Mano with the teeth. <laughs> matching, <laughs> matching teeth. Come on, man. Don't do that. Listen, oh, I have been out. Every day and every night. For the last month and, and, I, and it's not going to stop. <laughs> Turn my fucking gunshot up. Oh, my God. Oh, look at this thing right here. Oh, how did they trap me in there? Got trapped into, into uh, all of these people were here, were present in New York, or, yeah, were present in New York to see sniper errors in effect. I think we were having a conversation about that in this picture. <laughs> I was just over here and listening. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a part of that. Every party I see Dave Eason, I tell him to get out. I'm just telling y'all. Wow. He's, nigga, coming for, nigga, he's coming for yours. Come on, dog. <laughs> yeah. Yo, come on. Well, like nigga. Need a new you. Go. No. <laughs> All right, get your shit nah, off. Go to, you stepping on mine, so get your shit off. Let me hear. That's what I'm is he the new me? I haven't been six seven. <laughs> You the know, fuck are you talking you about? This nigga I mean. be in the clubs gorgeous. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking walked in the 4040, had, had my eye on, well, had my eye on a good vibe. <laughs> it was a good vibe in there. A nice piece of salmon. This nigga, you know, all the vibes were attracted to Davies. <laughs> nigga, I don't know. I don't know, but Davies was in there, man, tall with like some athlete friends. He was day height. I'm short as hell in the seat. <laughs> man, my smoke break, I beelined right to him. <laughs> Yo. Why don't you go to fuck home? <laughs> <laughs> so here he was again. It was good to see him. Red Cafe is always great to see. We had a good talk caught up. It was a good vibe here this night. I've well, been well, out. Well, this is Fab this was 20 years since Fab's debut album. Round of applause again. And being there really, really, I mean, you know about these things because you was there, right? But being there sure put a lot into perspective for me. I was feeling mushy. I might even drop a little thug tear. Aw. This was a surprise party for Fab. Now, when you say that, you never think the person is going to be surprised. No. Fab is pretty bright, tight with everybody. Somebody had to tell this guy. I'm sure someone slipped up and said, hey, what, what time is the I thing? I don't think so. It's not what happened. No? <laughs> I don't think he no. knew. So this was a surprise party, and, and every time we thought he was coming in so we could say surprise, he didn't come in. It was literally us playing freeze tag, but being frozen for like 30 minutes. And then Ari Melba tapped me and he said, hey, correct me if I'm wrong. This is the most obedient I've ever seen a hip hop crowd. <laughs> look, obedient? Look at everyone just standing still for 30 minutes straight. So here's the backstory here. To con Fab into coming to his surprise party, I guess Fendi and his people told him, that he had a walkthrough to do somewhere, and if he just did a few songs, he can get a bag and get the fuck out of there. But when he got there, they said, told him that it wasn't no bag, and the bag they'll, wire, they'll wire it to him on Monday. You can't play with no dude that been in the game 20 years yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Fab pulled up, pulled off. <laughs> <laughs> pulled up, screamed on somebody, <laughs> blacked out over here, threatened somebody. I don't know, I'm making shit up now, but... It took a long time to come in. That's so he was genuinely surprised when he came in. That's dope. So you walk in and you literally see, and this is me, so I can only imagine how he felt. You walk in and you see 20 years of people that were there. Associates for your whole journey. That's I mean, it's so maybe associates, but I didn't no, even see saying, associates. I'm just saying, it, it, at the bare Friends. minimum. Friends. Yeah, mm. at the bare minimum. Friends that played a part in... You, when you was in Brooklyn looking for a single before you knew Clue, friends, when you got over to Queens and you met Clue, look, G Herbo, like Fab's tree, Fab's family tree in this shit, long. we don't get into it really, yeah. but it's kind of long. Fucking, uh, when Mano came home, like it was a lot going on in there and and I knew that because I walked in and I went straight to a corner. Y'all know I go straight to a corner everywhere mm -hmm. I go. As soon as I got to a corner, I heard a couple voices say, hey, Joe, dog, it's us. You ain't got to do that. <laughs> you ain't got to do that shit you normally do. I said, oh, I feel, oh, I'm at home. <laughs> These people know me. Yeah, man, come over and fucking social. All right. 
That's all it took. You got me. All right, you, you got, got me. me. You got me. I will come and socialize. Then I see fucking Shaq in there, not Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, but I just seen everybody there. And for me to be there in a turtleneck and a blazer, I'm really I am gonna take this time and just go back down memory lane. Cause so many people there was like, Joe, to see you like this, I am so proud. Mm. I could not be prouder. Now people say that all the time. But for people that was there, they're there. Like I was yeah. telling Chad, like I remember my very first performance. I was surprised that people was even asking me to perform somewhere. I didn't have songs. I was doing freestyles. And me and Worm was my hype man. And we looked at each other the whole time in this Queens club. And when I got off stage, Shaq was like, and Shaq was running with Fab. Fab is on, popping, shows, getting lit. Hmm. And he come to me and he said, hey, Joe, when you perform, you should face the crowd. <laughs> oh, and shit. I said, oh, shit. <laughs> what a great idea. <laughs> I ain't even see them niggas. I just got into my own. He said, you should just try it. But just people that was there for stuff like that. So then he get to talking. And all these other people get to talking. Y'all remember this Nick funny Jersey nigga sitting Indian style just trying to figure it out. And to see people that was trying to figure it out, figure it out and get here. Where it's 20 years of everybody looking great, doing great, smelling great. That was emotional for me. It was. I had a really good time. I was glad I went. I was glad I was invited. Happy to see everybody there. And I couldn't be happier for Fab. Because look at this guy. He posted, look at him. He posted a comment, um, a, a caption with one of the pictures. I guess he took it down. But it had me crying because he was like, the face you make when they don't even know I was about to get this party shot up. Yeah, no, he, he, he said, <laughs> I'll shoot this whole shit up. <laughs> I'll be right back. I don't know what was about to happen. Thank God this was really a surprise for him. Because y'all was about to be surprised. Someone should have put a fake deposit in the shit. <laughs> yeah, but, or, or Fendi or one of them should have said, yeah, yeah, we got the money. They sent it to my account instead of your account. You know, you know what I'm saying? But as I'm watching him even, great, right? Just in watching him. When Fab came out, they, they said he didn't have personality. Mm, I remember that. Yeah, because it was a long time. It might have been the first eight, nine years of his career. Sure. I was going to say, a lot, of people, a lot of people... <laughs> yeah, before. Yeah. Con- yeah. It's yeah. on Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, they said he didn't have personality. He didn't want to do... He didn't want to do too many interviews. Uh, they just said a lot of shit. And slowly... He didn't want to tour. He didn't want to do shows. And slowly but surely, every few years in his career, he knocked out something that maybe was a flaw or a shortcoming. He started to become great at interviews. Twitter came, Instagram came. Niggas were like, oh, Fab's funny. No, he's been funny. Mm -hmm. We just didn't know he was funny. and He never let y'all see he was funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. He only gave you the music. That's it. You never got anything else. So to see that, to see all the people there that he helps to mentor and influence, like everybody there from Trey to Tiana to all these niggas kept saying, I have to be here because anytime I call Fab, he shows up. Mm Mm-hmm. Unlike these industry ass niggas. And then I got to thinking, shit, that's the same with me. Anytime I ask for a verse, you did a verse. Mm-hmm. I ain't pay. Wasn't no budget. Could have been down in my career. Mm-hmm. Could have not been on a label. Hey, here's a posse cut. Hey, can you rap on a posse cut? Yeah. Like he just did it. I don't think Fab is appreciated the way that he should be for helping usher in some of these niggas that y'all love. And they won't say his name because it might not be trendy to say it. Mm -hmm. But I know the people that's behind the scenes influencing and like being really a positive force in some of these new acts life. And he's one of them. So to see it again, round of applause. I could not be proud of this brother or this gentleman. It's earned. In 20 years, it's earned. Like you don't. It's a lot of niggas. And that's all he get to be here for 20. 20 years. That's all. That's all he kept saying. When we came in, nobody, no rapper thinks about being around for 20 years. Right. It was only LL. Right. It's like, whoa, that's the gold longevity he's been around. In 01, 02, we was just looking to get a good three or four years, get a good two album stretch, take the money, maybe put it back in the street or something else. Mm. 20 years to still be here? Man, listen, man. man that's real. Still look man, nice. Give still one have more, all your yeah, Come on, man. One more. Come on. Because again, that, that this is not something to be glossed over. Like a lot of your favorites ain't gonna get a twenty year. Facts. Sorry. Mm-mm. Facts. Ten. Yeah. Ten is a lot. Ten right. is a lot. Drake man. said it. Let's see. Let's see who's gonna be around a decade from now. Yeah. Ten that's, years. That's real. 
Yeah, so I just wanted to start with some appreciation yeah. for, for, for Fab because as somebody who don't get out very much, and shout out to M for making sure I was there, uh, that was an event. That was an event that I was really happy I left the house for. Shout out to everybody that was there. That's the New Joe Biden. Uh, 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 u